have people on Teresa to explain because I can tell people all day long that I can help them, but you joined our course. What was going on with you that you wanted to learn about the lymphatic system to improve your health? Well, I had had back surgery many decades ago. The only procedure I've ever had that was interventional or invasive, so to speak. And I started having trouble with one of my feet. I'm going from doctor to doctor to doctor. No one could figure out what was wrong with me. And finally, an enlightened surgeon said, I think you need manual lymphatic drainage. And that started my journey. Now, after I had my back surgery, I had headaches every day, every day. The first thing I would do when I woke up I would go take Excedrin. Mm. Um, but real, and then I started having anxiety attacks as well, just as a result from surgery. So um, putting it all together recently, um, gosh, I look back and it was my lymphatic system all along. It was a contributing factor for sure. When we have surgery and some people have, you had one, some people have numerous surgeries, all that inflammation process uh, congests the body. It has to be cleaned up by the lymphatic system. And then the lymphatic system becomes compromised. And then we suffer uh, and every virus, every flu, anything we have affects us. Even the anxiety to me is about that congestion uh, and the things you've been going through. And so how... Have you found our course? You joined our course and we didn't even talk to you. You jumped right in. I love it. Uh, you were very excited. <laughs> well, I was a little desperate, John. Um, of course, when the doctor gave me the diagnosis of lymphedema, I was, I was in denial. I'm like, well, this can't be. I mean, no, it's no. And I started going to manual lymphatic drainage twice a week. He wrote a prescription for, I think, five months. And I live in a big metropolitan area. This requires me to drive all over town and spend quite a bit of money. And I'm, of course, doing research like crazy. Um, and I found you. I found you. I can't remember now, but I think it was through YouTube. Um, you know, I do a search for lymphedema, lipedema, lymphatic. And there you were. And I thought, this guy makes sense. This could be the missing link. I'd love to work on myself. Because if you go to manual lymphatic drainage and they diagnose the lymphedema, in my case, in just one part of your body, they only work on that part. And I really felt like something was missing. Right. And, and that I hear from that from people around the world, right? That, mm -hmm. oh, you know, John, what you teach us, uh, and that's what's in our eight minute introductory course is better than what I've learned in a hospital setting and easier to learn. And then in our Absolutely. full course, what you are learning from, we have a 14 minute, which you'll get to later on. But it is and I know you had a pretty good experience. I mean, before you even talk to me, you basically were draining yourself and you saw a reduction in your leg. I did. Um, I actually took the introductory course as well. And that's when I realized, oh, wow, uh, this is so much better than what I'm getting, um, you know, outside of my home. Uh, so I had a good experience there. But then I don't know, I just I just needed some more tutoring. And uh, I joined the second course, I loved it. And I have had significant reduction. And now I know how to manage it. And, and that's the most important thing when you have really, even though we talk about lipedema and lymphedema, it doesn't matter if you have anxiety, if you have depression, we need to manage it because the days we have more swelling, the days we have more anxiety or more depression, or you can't sleep or more aggression are the days you're more toxic. So if we can gain control over this inflammation with our hands, our diet, and make it a lifestyle, it, it begins to work. Right. Uh, you've also, Absolutely. yeah, you were also able to experience uh, my, uh, the distance lymphatic healing session. How was that? I've had two and I love them. Um, so much better than what I'm getting. And, and my people are good. Don't get me wrong. My no, there are a lot of good, good therapists, just I work differently. Yes. <laughs> um, I wish I could go like every five days. I wish I could have a treatment every five days. Um, 
especially the last one was very dramatic. So yeah, I felt like I was no longer despondent, kind of discouraged because this condition is dynamic. And, and, you know, it changes. And now I know why, kind of why it changes. You've given me that direction and I love it. And I can't emphasize how much I love the lymph practice, the distance session. Love it. Yeah, right. It, it's a way for people. And there aren't, there are in metropolitan areas, you might find more, but where people live in the outskirts, you don't find a lot of therapists. So right. to me, if somebody's having pain. It's not my idea that I want to work every day with somebody. My idea mm -hmm. is to how you did it. You got a couple of sessions. Now you're going to take care of it yourself. That's what is key to me. I think mm -hmm. that's what everybody needs to learn, whether they take the intro course or the other one, we all need to know how to maintain our lymphatic system. Uh, and then we gain more control. Well, I'm super glad we were able to get you on any parting words for anybody who might be on the fence about the lymphatic system or joining us. Well, I would say don't hesitate. Um, you will have knowledge that you can take the rest of your life, particularly in this age of COVID. I, I have to say this as a parting, a parting, my parting words. Um, I have taken all my vaccines, never had any trouble. But the last time I got the booster shot, and I'm not an anti-vaxxer, an anti-mask or anything like that, but my entire uh, side swelled up from that shot. My clavicles were so congested. In fact, my therapist checked me today and she says it's still swollen, but I know how to reduce it now. Right. You're in control because the vaccinations, especially this, we're going to talk about it in a few minutes, actually, yeah. the, oh, the boosters actually create more cellular waste. And that's what people are feeling. So if we can prepare for our boosters and I'm not anti-vaxxer, it's, it's a choice for everybody to make their own right. decision, uh, but we need to prepare for it. And then we go into it much better, especially if you have some health concerns. Yeah. All right, Teresa, I really appreciate you getting on and talking to everybody. You, you have a good day. Thank you, John. Talk to you later. All right. Good night. It's so important to understand it's not just lipidema. It's not just anxiety. I believe I wrote a book on how every health problem is due to the buildup of cellular waste in your body. And that's exactly what has come true in the last few years. Uh, many diseases from type 2 diabetes, anxiety, depression, insomnia, osteoarthritis, arterial sclerosis, breast cancer, lung tumors, heart failure. So if you have heart disease, heart failure is about cellular waste and heart disease at the beginning. Uh, MS, Parkinson's, Huntington's, ALS, and schizophrenia and menopause have all been linked to the buildup of cellular waste. So you can wait and wait and wait until your doctors talk about this or you need to take control now. You, you really need to. Everybody needs to gain control and it's information that you'll use for the rest of your life.